Uh, my boat is not very big one, it's a moderate one. And uh, I'm using it to, to fish tilapia and, and the Nile patch. Before, we were only a, a very few fishermen around here. We were about only 20 fishermen in 1970. But now the number has increased. Lake Victoria is located in East Africa, 1130 meters above sea level. The lake is situated between Uganda, Tanzania and Kenya and is the world's second largest lake. Due to its richness in fishing resources, the lake has been a vital source of food and income to the local population. Twenty-five years ago, nearly all the fish caught was consumed locally. Today, however, most of the fish is exported to Europe, Japan and the United States. During the last 25 years, Lake Victoria's fishing resources have become threatened due to the strong demand from international markets. Earlier, fishing activities were carried out and managed by the local population living by the lake. The men would go fishing while the women processed, dried and sold the fish at the local and regional markets around the lake. In the 1970s, the lake provided a livelihood for about 50,000 active fishermen and tens of thousands of women living from small-scale fish processing and trade. About 100,000 tons of fish were caught annually, and this was the basis for the livelihood of a large part of the population around the lake. Millions of people consumed the fish caught in the lake. In the 1980s, some major changes occurred in the Lake Victoria fisheries when foreign investors established fish export factories around the lake. The export industry based its production on catching and processing one particular species of fish, the Nile perch. This development was related to the fact that the Nile perch was introduced to Lake Victoria in the 1950s by the former colonial ruler, Great Britain. The perch is a predator which eats and threatens the sustainability of other species in the lake. Within a period of only 10 years, the total catch of the fish increased fivefold, from 100,000 tons to 500,000 tons per year. From being organized as a traditional fishing industry, supplying local and regional markets, the fisheries have gradually become modernized and integrated in the global market. Since 1990, about 500,000 tons of fish have been caught annually from Lake Victoria. This is 25% of the total amount of catch from lakes and rivers in the entire African continent. The changes led to a shift towards more expensive fishing technologies, and fewer fishermen are able to operate and own their own fishing boats and equipment. Some of them are employed as crew on the mechanized boats and canoes controlled or owned by the factories. The modern fishing industry, established around Lake Victoria, has received financial support from multilateral development banks and aid agencies. The consequence of this new type of fishing is less fish left for local fishermen. In addition, the mechanized boats tend to destroy traditional fishing nets. Many local fishermen fishing in the habitual areas describe how the modern boats foreign to the area enter into vulnerable spawning areas and fish with illegal equipment. These are areas for which local fishermen have developed local regulations for protection and reproduction of the species. Fish is the most important source of animal protein for the local population, especially for the poor who seldom can afford to buy meat.
During the 1980s, a great demand for Nile perch developed in Europe and Japan, leading to an explosive exploitation of the Lake Victoria fisheries. Within a period of 10 years, some 35 fish export factories were established. The Nile perch alone constitutes 50 to 60 percent of the total catch of fish from Lake Victoria. Now, every year, several hundred thousand tons of fish are filleted and exported from a continent in deep need of proteins to surplus communities in the West. The export industry created new jobs, particularly inside the factories. However, for each job created in the modern industry, research from Kenya shows that between six to eight jobs disappear in the traditional fishing sector. Some researchers conclude that the export-oriented fishing industry is a threat, both in terms of food security and employment of hundreds and thousands of poor people in East Africa. Investors have, have always thought that it was a good business to get into, and, and it was, if I may say, about five to six years back. What we are seeing now is that uh, it, the fish supply is declining. There's been a gradual decline in, in, uh, in our catch and uh, consequently what we, we process. Uh, we, we see that something really needs to be done as far as uh, the controlling of fishing is concerned, the catch. So we are asking, the question we are asking ourselves is that what are we going to be left with? Because they are going to empty the, the lake and will remain here and they will go away. So they have only come for their fortune and will remain poor poorer than, than as we are now. So it is, no, it is very, very, very uh, uh, threatening everybody's life living around the Lake Victoria Shores because we depend in this lake. So what, what, what are we going to do next when it is drained? So that's a, a very, very big question for ourselves and for our uh, leaders and everybody that is concerned. Yeah. I think they should look into it seriously. Yeah.